Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about a past experience that I had in full detail in this video, and that is with my own personal experience with doing the OMAD diet, which is a type of intermittent fasting diet, also known as the one meal a day diet, where you fast for around 23 hours a day. And then dependent on what type of one meal a day diet you're following, some people eat for an hour, two hours, three hours, it's different for many different people. But for me, I normally would eat around a two hour window and fast for around 23 hours, sometimes up to 24 hours, sometimes even 25 hours but most of the time it was normally around 23 hours so i stopped this journey back in august of this year early august and what i want to say is during that seven month period i did announce in a couple of different videos that i had slipped off of not eating one meal a day and made some mistakes and that's why there were some times that i ate two meals in a day but almost that whole seventh month period 99.999 percent of the time i was eating one meal a day and yeah for me the experience was really really amazing and when i first embarked on this journey it just naturally happened to me i had to travel for quite a long time within a day to a different location and every time i travel i always do extended water fasting or some intermittent fasting that would be for a longer period of time. So this was one of those situations. So I ended up traveling to a location, I was about 25 hours into fasting, and I'd known about one meal a day for quite some time, and at the time I was eating two meals a day with a diet known as the 16-8 intermittent fasting diet, and I had tried to go to one meal a day, but it hadn't worked for me before. So yeah, I went out to Santosa, detox and healing center in Phuket, Thailand. And because I was so hungry and they had a buffet on, I just ate so much food. And I'm someone that is a very big eater. So I just kept eating and eating and eating and eating. And I was so stuffed, went to bed that night. And the next day I found that I wasn't hungry until the following evening. So that is what embarked me on this journey. And it made me realize that is why I hadn't been able to do it in the past because I was just not eating enough food. So yeah, this then went on for a seven month period. And I found that it just helped optimize my energy levels because I wasn't eating multiple meals throughout the day because digestion is a very intense energy expenditure process for the body to do. So yeah, I just found that my energy levels were way more stable throughout the day. And I found for my mind, I had way much more mental clarity, way more clear connection to my intuition, improved focus, alertness, and just overall improvements in all of my cognitive functions. So for me, I found as an entrepreneur and someone that creates many different videos and coaches people and that runs multiple different businesses that I found because I wasn't having to eat throughout the day and getting those distractions that I could focus upon those things way more so I could increase my income and increase the amount that I could be productive with working on things I wanted to and because I had all those cognitive benefits as well I found that I could work more efficiently and way way faster and at the same time it was also making me be way more creative and get a lot more creative thoughts with the things that I was working on and things that I wanted to create and not that I've had issues with excess body fat when embarking on this one meal a day diet but I did find that it reduced my body fat percentage even more which I love to have the most ripped physique possible where you can see as much definition of my muscles as much as possible and it also gives that appearance that they look a lot bigger when your body fat is lower and I found in the gym that I could train harder recover way faster and just so many different benefits and I just loved the aspects of not focusing upon food throughout the day. It made my life way, way simpler at the time when I was doing it because I would just get on with my life, do what I need to do, and then I'd go out 
to a restaurant here in Thailand where I live and then just eat so much food. And when it comes to eating the food, I appreciated it way more. It tasted way better to me and it was just a way more enjoyable experience for me because I have found in the past, we're not doing any type of intermittent fasting diet and you just eat multiple times throughout the day. You really don't appreciate the food fully and enjoy it as much. So that was something that I didn't know that was gonna happen and I didn't know a lot of these benefits was gonna happen. I just embarked on this journey because my body wanted to for the duration that I did it for. And as I mentioned how I got onto this journey after traveling for a while, I will say that I still do one meal a day when I'm traveling for long periods of time. Because I don't have to carry food with me whatsoever, I don't have to be concerned that I'm not gonna have access to the food that I want to eat because I do eat a vegan diet and there's sometimes some situations where it's harder to get certain specific vegan foods. So for those reasons and many other, it makes my whole traveling experiences way, way easier for me and way lighter because a lot of time in the past when I used to eat multiple meals a day and travel, I carry loads of different foods with me and I am someone who is a minimalist and I wanna travel as light as possible always. And one question a lot of people ask me is, did it have a negative effect on my sex drive? And what I say is no, not whatsoever because some people get really concerned about that for whatever reasons that they believe within themselves, but maybe it's an issue for someone else on this type of diet, but for me, not at all, because it was helping optimize my testosterone production and other hormones within the body. So you may now be wondering, why if it was so great and I was getting all of these benefits, did I quit? Which I've talked about a bit in another video, but I'm gonna be adding some things in this video that I haven't talked about in the video where I talk about why I quit eating one meal a day after around a seven month period. So what I have to say is, it was amazing at the beginning and throughout the whole entire journey, but towards the end, I did start to find that my energy levels started to drop and I started to not notice all of those amazing benefits. So I was still getting some of them, but not as many as I did earlier on in the journey. And I did try loads of different things by adding in other different foods and testing out loads of different things. And it just felt to me that it was not right for me to be doing it any longer. And I'm someone that listens to my body rather than my mind and my body was telling me this is something that I don't need to be doing for now. And I just need to keep my mind open and just go with how my body feels every single day. Because our bodies are always in a continual state of fluctuation. But my mind was wanting me to stick to one meal a day, even though it wasn't making me feel the best that I could feel. And I am someone that has had issues in the past where I go on to what certain people call called extreme diets and stick it out longer than is actually good for me. So that's just something that I always personally need to be mindful around because yeah, I could just do something that's not good for me because my head thinks that I should do it even though my body is giving me clear signs that it's not good for me to do it. And also there was another huge, huge reason. I found that with one meal a day, I was increasing my muscle mass, but it got to a point that I could not increase it anymore after months of eating this way and training the way that I was training at that time. And I have now found since switching to the 16-8 intermittent fasting diet back in August that my muscle mass has started to increase quite rapidly over that time period where I'm noticing a lot more development in the upper part of my body and the muscles that are on it. And I do want to add, I'm not saying that you can't gain muscle with one meal a day because I did, but for me personally, and I would say for a lot of people, eating more frequently throughout the day when you want to increase muscle mass for many different reasons that I don't need to go into can really help maximize muscle growth. But I always would recommend that you do some sort of intermittent fasting diet daily because obviously you get those amazing human growth hormone benefits, testosterone production benefits, insulin goes down, it improves insulin sensitivity, it switches on glucagon production which is a hormone that allows your body to burn its own body fat as fuel and a whole host of other amazing benefits that you're just gonna get short term and long term that's gonna help give you the best health holistically and maximize your lifespan as well. And what I wanna say is I'm not anti one meal a day. 
I think one meal a day, the diet is very good for so many different people. And as I said, there are times when I'm traveling, I eat one meal a day. And just recently, about the last two or three days, I've ate one meal a day. So there's times when I do it, when my body wants to do it, and there's times where I don't, and I eat around two meals a day. So yeah, I'm just keeping my mind open and not being very rigid and just fixated upon one thing and just being like, no, 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 I must do this and I cannot go off it whatsoever. Because yeah, that mind can get in the way and the mind doesn't know best, the body knows best. But most people are not in tune with their body when their body can be giving them clear signs that something is not good for them or not working for them when they need to change it. It can have very detrimental effects on them for obvious reasons if they go down that path. But if you do, then it is just the path where you need to learn about that so you can grow and evolve, change things up, and go in the direction that is a better direction for you to go. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone you think might wanna hear about my own personal seven month experience with eating one meal a day and why I stopped eating this way. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me on a regular basis, and also videos that you can find on my channel that are already existing, are videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting. I also have many what I eat in a day videos with daily intermittent fasting on the 16-8 intermittent fasting diet, one meal a day diet, many calisthenics workout and progression videos, and many other different videos to help you go in the direction of achieving the body you desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. And I hope at the same time the videos inspire you and motivate you to become a better version of yourself and create more of what you desire today and also in the future. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.